So I've dropped a few deatomizer strikes in Infinite Warfare, but have you ever wanted something more? Welcome everyone, I hope you have a fantastic day. In this video you're going to see me get the Deatomizer Strike in Infinite Warfare and then follow that up with the Juggernaut Medal and the Unstoppable Medal too. But before I get into the background of this, let's talk a little bit about how the start of this gameplay goes. So, did the wall run and then one, two, three, an awesome triple kill. That's such a welcome start if you're going for something like a Deatomizer Strike in Infinite Warfare. But I'm not done yet. I decide to do the wall run again. And just as I jump up here, spot this guy, so I might as well take him out, do a quick reload, and then one, two more guys decide to come and see what's going on, and they get taken out, and I get another triple call. So an awesome way to start for me in this particular gameplay. But what am I doing here? Well, if you've watched my most recent nuclear video on my channel, you'll know I was setting out to try and get a Juggernaut Medal in Infinite Warfare. Now, in that particular video, I think I went on a 43 kill streak. I got the nuclear, but there was no Juggernaut Medal come up, and I thought the game was glitched, and I talk a bit about that in that particular gameplay. But the reason I thought that is I'd watched quite a few videos, and I'd heard a number of people say that Correctly, the nuclear is a 25 gun streak, but the juggernaut medal is a 30 kill streak. It doesn't all have to be gun kills, so things like your score streaks and so on can help you. So I set out based on this information, and there was actually quite a few big Call of Duty channels that reported the same thing. So based on all this that I'd heard, I went out to get the juggernaut, thought I'd done it, thought I'd met all the criteria, but no, it did not pop up on my screen. So all of that aside, I'm still a bit confused, but based on my own thoughts and my own experiences, I'm going to say that the Juggernaut Medal is a 30 gun streak. That's all I can assume. I'll, I'll assume the game wasn't glitched, and I'll assume you need to get all your kills using the gun. So, based on that information, I still wanted to get the Juggernaut Medal. I actually wanted to go beyond that and get the Unstoppable Medal and a Nuclear in one gameplay. So that's what you're watching now. And I've always wanted to get a nuclear on this map, actually. I quite like this map. It's one of the nicer looking maps. I think it plays quite well. And I actually managed to look up at the end of this one and see the ship coming in and dropping the nuclear. So quite a nice touch to actually be able to do that. And I wasn't like stuck inside at the time when the nuclear actually dropped. As for the gun I'm using in this one, it's a Type 2 Atomic, a legendary variant. It's got the nuclear perk, as obviously these type of guns do, and you need that to get the nuclear. And the other thing it's got is reduced hip fire spread when sliding. I think it calls it Lowrider, if I remember correctly. Not the best or most useful thing, I don't think, if you're trying to go for a nuke. Are you really going to be sliding and trying to hip fire if you're going for a nuclear? Mm, debatable. I think it's quite an easy way to get your gun streak ended, but I think it may help me once actually, just at the end of the video. If you look out, I think there's a point when I'm actually going down some steps, and I do a little slide and perhaps get a few shots in an enemy, so look out for that nearer the end. But out of all the nuclear variant guns that I've got thinking about it, none of them have got really fantastic perks. Now this guy here had the payload, the dual SMG type thing, so it's quite lucky to take him out because if someone like that shoots you and you're going on a nuclear, it just ends your streak so quickly. But uh, yeah, all the nuclear guns that I've got, I don't think any of them have got fantastic perks to really help you get the nuclear. Some have got maybe increased ammo, which is quite welcome. I talked about that in one of my nuclear videos for the K-Bar 32 which has got some extra ammo, that's always a help. But none of them like make the gun overpower. Nothing that I have seen has got like rapid fire or increased damage range, things like that that may help you get a few kills easier. Of course, there may be a nuclear variant that exists that I don't have, which has got that, or they may release one in the future, but the guns seem quite well balanced. They don't really add much extra feature over and above the base variants to help you get that nuclear. 
But we're working our way towards getting the nuclear here. First of all, that is the 25 gun streak. And then I know that it's not game over. I need to keep pushing and get that 30. And then I also want to get the 31 at least um, to try and get the unstoppable medal coming up. Now, it's all about just playing carefully, I think, trying to get the... Here we go, there's where I do the little slide. I think the gun maybe helped me a little bit there. I don't know, but possibly the base type 2 would have helped just the same. But yeah, it's all about sort of playing carefully and trying to get the nuclear. I mean, it's such a quick game. And especially when people have got like a payload, like the claw and so on, or the guy with like the dual SMGs that I, I saw earlier. These things can just come around a corner or jump on you and take you out of your streak so quickly. Pick up a nice couple of kills there. We're now in a relentless 20 gun kills, 5 away from the nuclear. This is a very sort of point where you don't want to get killed, so you've got to use a bit of care. And actually, two games prior to this one, I had got 21 kills in a row. I think I was playing the map Throwback. And I was going around one of the areas in the map and then I just got killed and I didn't even see anyone and then I watched the kill cam what had happened is a guy leapt out of a doorway which was like high above me in one section of a map and he basically dropped straight down on my head and hit me one kill with a shotgun never even seen him in the map never even heard him or anything just until it was far too late I heard the fire of the gun and there was no way I could see him unless I'd been looking directly above my head. So there we go, the last kill, the atomizer strike. But we're now in a brutal 25, make that 26, and we need to get to 30. And I also want to call in the deatomizer strike, because as I talked about earlier, I wanted to get one on this map, and I wanted to look up in the sky and actually see it. So I don't think I've done that in any of my previous nuclears. By the way, if you want to watch the video I talked about earlier or you're a fan of nuclears, this is my fifth one and my other four at this point in time will be linked in the description so you can watch all of those if you actually want. But I keep pushing here, I'm watching the time, I'm watching the kill count, our team's clearly going to win, we've got 89 kills. I want to see the deatomizer site but I want to get the unstoppable. Boom, actually, Juggernaut first, there we go, that's what I was wanting to get, and I now call in the uh, nuclear, knowing I've got the Juggernaut, and I know I can get another kill, and there we go, unstoppable, so I've achieved everything I want, The there we go, there's a the massive ship, look at that thing, look at that explosion, the glare, the nuclear goes off, everything I wanted to achieve at the start of the game, I managed to do it in this gameplay. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the gameplay and hearing my thoughts as ever. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you soon for another video.